Today I'd like to show you some of the information presented to me on my Garmin Connect smart application. Here you see data showing that I hit the sweet spot for my targeted heart rate run. In the past, when I was overreaching, I had a more sudden spike in my heart rate, which is not really safe. Compare this picture's more gradual increase at a spike, and you'll see the difference. One more time, just for reference, here's that sudden spike, and pay attention and now you'll see a gradual increase during this even more vigorous effort. You'll also see a difference in the power register during this portion of my 6.6 .6 versus the 3.3 .3 speed on my treadmill. And according to these measurements, I did pretty good on my anaerobic and my aerobic activities. Here again, you see a power representation. This is my cadence, and that should clarify how actual foot speed translates into wattage. As you can see, there's a lot of information here. You can also see my temperature was dropping throughout the run. And I was running so slow at first trying to dial in my numbers that it was registered as walking. In fact, the only zones registered measurably was zone 3 and zone 2. And if you look again at an alternate screen showing the wattage or energy expended in this effort, you'll see it only registered when I was running at a 6.6. So some of the data that you receive in this device or on this application, I should say, uh, transmitted via this device can be eh, taken with a grain of salt. One of the things for sure that this helped me to do, again, was to dial in my heart rate so that I can try and match up what I was feeling physiologically. And I would interpret this to also be useful for anyone who might be trying to measure anxiety levels and uh, sleep difficulties because quite a, an amazing ar array of data is collected by these devices and it's quite useful. I think that over the course of time, I've been able to not only measure my progress, but to actually feel physio physiologically different as I continue to train using my Garmin smart information. So thought I'd give a little bit of information. I know this is a, a lot um, of information kind of scattered uh, and yet brought together pretty clearly, pretty quickly. Um, but these are just ideas. You know, if you've never gone running, if you've never seen your data from completing physical effort, then it might be worth investing in a smart device, um, not just to take advantage of the GPS capabilities of a smart device, but also because you really can tailor your own workouts to be more effective based on what you actually feel. Thanks for checking out this quick bit of insight. Until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff.